So we saw Tesla's armored glass when we saw the Cybertruck, and it kind of surprised some people. Uh, Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Sure. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try it in the mirror? <laughs> Sorry? Okay. It didn't go through. That's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. Tesla has now started introducing laminated glass only to the front two windows for Model 3 and Model Y. So let's kind of go into it and show you exactly what laminated glass does. So laminated glass was actually invented by mistake about 117 years ago in 1903. Some scientists were working in their lab and they accidentally created a compound so that when they dropped their glassware, it actually didn't cause the glassware to break. And they worked on patenting that idea. They went through all different formulations, came up with different chemicals. So originally, many cars just had regular panes of glass, but that was a big safety issue because when the glass would break, there would be big shards of glass which could actually cause major injuries. Yeah. And so laminated glass was actually on some of the earliest cars and it actually was quite standard back in the 30s through the 50s. Later in the 60s, General Motors and other car manufacturers tried to get away from laminated glass just because it cost a little bit more than other glass and they were just trying to save every dollar they could. But many studies were done over the past 70 years which showed that laminated glass was much safer than tempered or non-tempered glass. And so laminated glass actually became a requirement for windshields. So here we actually have some pieces. This is actually this piece right here. These are direct from Tesla. This video was not cheap. Huge shout out to our sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for helping it with all this. Now, they do actually have glass screen protectors for the center screen. We'll show you a little bit more about those later, but huge thanks to them. But this one is the laminated one, and you can kind of see here how it is actually two panes sandwiched together. And the cool thing with the laminated version is they now have metal mounts. So the non-laminated tempered version has no other mounts. So on the tempered version, you can see the hole right here. That is actually where it mounts, which can potentially be a failure point because it's always rubbing around this glass. So again, both of these are actual pieces of Tesla uh, side window glass for the front. One's passenger, one's driver, right? Yeah, we just took whatever we could get in stock. Now, let me actually pull up the receipt because I think the cost might surprise you guys. This piece of a laminated is $260, whereas non-laminated tempered is $225. So the cost really isn't that much difference, but we think Tesla obviously went with the laminated for a couple reasons. Uh, safety, a huge one, uh, but also hopefully maybe being a little bit thicker, it'd help with cabin noise from like the road and everything like that. Uh, we'll have some testing coming up on that as soon as we can get our hands on a 2021 Model 3 and Model Y. So the interesting thing though is Tesla has only started doing laminated side windows on the front. The rear passenger windows do not have laminated, they are still tempered. And there's an interesting reason for that. So basically, if you've ever been in a Model 3 or a Model Y, you'll notice that the front two seats for the passenger and the driver have a manual emergency release. Typically, you would just use that thumb button to open yeah. up the door, but there's an additional release that's an emergency release that will manually open the door. It's, it doesn't require the electrical system to be working in order to, for that door to open. Yeah. Now, if you've ever sat in the rear seats of a Model 3 or a Model Y, those seats do not have that manual emergency release. So the point, again, of that manual release is that you can open the door and get out. So while the shattered laminated window might still be in the frame of the car, or of the door, you're not, it's not gonna prevent you from opening that door with that manual emergency release. Here we are with the regular Model Y tempered glass on the right, and on the left we have the new laminated glass, which has two panes, which is laminated together with PVB. And actually, if you come right here and look at this, it actually says laminated PVB. Yep, exactly. And that's how we know it's Tesla. 
So we've talked a little bit about laminated glass and tempered glass. We're gonna go ahead and show you what happens when you break a piece of tempered glass. And we, we don't wanna go ahead and install it in the car and we'd have a mess to clean up inside the car door. So we're gonna go ahead and just set it up right here and show what happens when you break it. Now tempered glass isn't all bad. It's, it's really safe, as we said, compared to regular glass. You know, it's still really strong. But you could, you know, you might have seen people trying to bang their elbows through it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends sometimes on it'll break your elbow and not well. the glass. And so there's actually a special safety tool that you can use which will help you break glass. So if you're ever stuck in your car and you have tempered glass windows, you can use a hammer such as this to break it. And we're going to show you how that works. But first, let's glove up for safety. Safety first. And I wear protection, of course. So again, if you were stuck in the car and you need to escape through the window, you would just get one of these cheap tools. They're, you can get them off of Amazon, anywhere. They're six like bucks. six we'll bucks. We'll link each. them below. But they're all different kinds. This is one of the larger ones. We got a two pack. But basically, you can just tap it. <laughs> tap a little harder. And that's tempered glass. As you can see, instantly shatters into <laughs> tiny pieces. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? But basically, that wow. that might have caused a few you know cuts and scratches if you did break it on your face. But that's going to allow you to instantly go out of that win window if you need to get out of the car. And the cool thing is, these are just tiny yeah, just... little shards of glass, and that's. That's not going to cut you as if you had a giant shard of glass from a window pane on that's a house or something tempered, like that. That's not tempered, yeah. But that's pretty cool. There, you can definitely tell that like exploded out. That There's was a lot of... way more forceful than I thought. Yeah, so basically the glass, basically, the, the way they tempered it, it, it strengthens it. And you yeah. can just see it's releasing all that energy. So again, that was tempered glass. That's what's currently in like mo older Model S's, Model X's, and the rear windows of all Model Y's and Model 3's. Yep. This is uh, the laminated glass, which is now available on 2021 Model 3 and Model Y. And when you use the hammer on one of these, it's not gonna explode like that. Go for it. As you can see, it's shattering, but it doesn't instantly disintegrate. Much like the windshield of the Model 3 that we played around with a long time ago. It's similar reaction. While it's spidering and everything, and there's some shards being thrown, it's not doing this. It's not doing that. And so the nice thing is that if you were in the car and something was to be thrown up and to hit your window, it's, it's not gonna shatter and send little tiny pieces of glass all over in your car. It's gonna stay in one piece with a little bit of you know, power. A little bit of dust. But basically, you know, we, we've heard like cars getting hit by BB guns or something like that. This will protect you from that. You're, you yeah. might still have to, you're gonna have to still replace that piece of glass, but it's, you're not gonna have that big mess of having little pieces of glass everywhere in your car. But again, this is a safety issue. Another big thing about laminated glass is that in like rollover accidents, which you don't typically have to worry about in a Tesla, but that laminated glass helps to keep the passengers in the car. Even and, with like side impacts and whatnot too, yeah. you can have limbs flailing. And, that, and again, that might be another reason why uh, for now, to only have it on the front with those me mechanical releases is that typically you know there's going to be a driver always driving yep. the car, and you might have a passenger, but typically pa you're not always going to have people in the back. But eventually, maybe they will add those mechanical releases to their back doors, and then they could add the laminated glass in the back as well. That would be my guess: is they're still using up parts that aren't mechanical releases on that back door. And it would be nice to even see that little back window to be laminated like this to really kind of thwart anybody from breaking into, especially Model 3s, people used to break into that, drop the seat and see what was in the trunk. So an easy way to check if that side piece of glass right there is laminated is if you open your door, you can kind of come around here and it's something we'll have to look at some of the 2021s with. If you take this, you can kind of peel it back you can see that is not laminated. That is just a single piece right there. But this being laminated would help out a bunch with people breaking in to be able to drop the Model 3 seats to be able to see what's in the back. If they actually used laminated glass on there, that would really prevent stuff like that. You might still have a broken piece of glass, but no one's really gonna get into the car. It would take a lot more effort, and you can still get in. So even, we're talking about yeah. the mechanical lever on the front door, but say you're wedged up against another car or something, you yeah. might not still be able to push that door open. You, even if this glass was in there, you could still break it, and then you would be able to kick it out, or first responders would be able to push it in or pull it out. So you can still remove it from the car. Uh, it's just gonna take a little bit more time than with the tempered glass. The reason we kinda wanted to check this out is because 
there's a lot of talk about the laminated glass, why it's not on the rear doors, why it's on the front doors, but how does this relate to Tesla armor glass? Well, the Tesla armored glass is actually a laminated form of glass. Now it has a different exterior kind of glass. It is more similar to this than what is currently on the cars. So this could be Tesla's first step towards armored glass in production vehicles. Um, now, obviously, we were able to get through it a lot, much like a metal ball would do. Oh my god! But I definitely think this is a step in the right direction for safety overall. Yeah, and if Tesla does add this to other vehicles or other windows in the future, it's gonna cost a little bit more, but I think yeah. the safety benefits are gonna far outweigh any cost increases. Say you already have a Model Y or a Model 3, is it worth it to put laminated glass in? I would say maybe. If your front windows already broke or yeah. need to be replaced, go ahead and pay the 20 bucks extra and go ahead and put laminated glass in there. But if you don't have any problems, I, I don't think it's really worth it to get rid of a perfectly good windshield or window and replace it with laminated glass. Still, I mean, step on it. Oh, there you go. You can Okay, so that's basically the breakdown of tempered glass versus laminated glass. Definitely great to see Tesla take the step on having laminated side windows. Most car manufacturers don't go that extra step and the safety is truly there. Go ahead and comment down below if you have a Model 3 or Model Y. Is tempered something that you would rather not have? Would you rather switch your windows out for something laminated like this? I don't know. Um, I have a feeling it'd be probably right about $1,500 maybe or so with labor to get them all switched out. For me, that's not really worth it, but I know for some, it might definitely be. Definitely let us know down below. Huge thanks to our channel sponsor though, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are interested in any accessories for your SX3 or Model Y, much like this one, definitely check them out. I'll link down below. And using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Our two must have accessories are definitely going to be a center console wrap or even that carbon fiber effect shell. Really helps protect that piano gloss black material that Tesla uses and create your Tesla your own. As well as a matte screen protector, it really helps cut down any glare from the sun as well as any fingerprints that you might get on it. But that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Video, go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Did we turn the camera on? Yeah, yeah, no, they're on. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, they're on. <laughs>